Do you have an experience as a healthcare aide, long-term care aide, or maybe a nursing attendant, a nursing aide, or patient care aide, and dreaming to immigrate here in Canada? This video is for you. I'm going to show you on this video the step-by-step -step process and what are the requirements needed to achieve your Canadian dream to immigrate here in Canada as a permanent resident. So if you're ready, let's begin. Hey guys, it's me, Cap Joey of When in Halifax and the co-founder of Cap Unity Canada together with Miss Amelia Ajo, our licensed immigration consultant and my partner here in Cap Unity Canada. Maybe this is your first time to join our videos or live streaming. I want you to join us every Monday to Friday we have a live streaming with Miss Amelia Ajo, a licensed immigration consultant, sharing a valuable information to achieve your Canadian dream. So if you want to check our Monday to Friday schedule, I want you to check our description below and check the schedule, sign up, and make sure to invite your family and friends because sharing is caring. Speaking of sharing, is caring i want you to click the subscribe button now like this video and make sure to share this video because we want to help you and your family to be here in canada the question now is i really want to go to canada cup how can i achieve this canadian dream to answer these questions i have a question for you do you have an experience as an emergency medical responder, healthcare aide, hospital attendant, long-term care aide, nurse aide, nursing attendant, orderly, patient care aide, personal care attendant, or simply called as NOC 3413. So if you are NOC 3413, as I mentioned, these are the illustrative examples of NOC 3413, then we have a good news for you. You have an opportunity to immigrate here in Canada as a permanent resident. Introducing to you the Nova Scotia Provincial Nomination Program Occupation in Demand. This occupation demand, they have several NO, specific NOC, but I'm going to focus on this video, the NOC 3413. On the 3413, uh, there's a requirements that you need. The number one requirements that you need is at least one year experience. One year experience as 3413 or nurse aid, orderly, and patient service associates. If you have this experience, then continue watching because I'm going to mention now the second requirements. The second requirements for the Occupation in Demand NOC 3413 is the language test. You need to have a CLB4 language test. The next requirements is you need to have at least high school diploma. And maybe you're worried about your age. You can apply if your age is between 21 to 55 years old. So you cannot apply younger 21. You cannot apply if you're older to 55 years old. So if your age is between 21 and 55, you can apply. The next requirement is appropriate training skills and accreditation for this job. So if you have training for the skills, then you can apply to this opportunity. The last requirement is the proof of funds. You need to show to the government that you can support you and your family. And maybe you're wondering how the proof of funds calculated. The proof of funds required is based from the composition of the family. So if you as the principal applicant, your spouse and your two kids, that's four composition or four family members. This is the required proof of funds for the four members of family. If you have more than four, here's the list of proof of funds required. These are the basic requirements 
to be eligible on this program. The question now is, are you eligible for this program? If yes, I want you to comment in the comment section. If not, please prepare all the documents and make sure that you already have this document before you apply for this program. There's one requirement that I need to mention to you, but make sure that this basic requirements you already have. You already have the language test, the proof of funds, you already have the trainings, the diploma, and make sure that you have a one-year experience. If you have all these requirements, then let's move to the major requirements, which is the most challenging requirements, is the job offer. If you have all the basic requirements, the last one is the job offer. You need to have a job offer from a Nova Scotia employer. I know it's challenging, but if you are wondering or maybe you want to ask, where can I find a job offer? I want you to check the jobbank.gc.ca. I'm going to put the, the link on the comment section, but that's the portal wherein you can find your job offer. But if you find it difficult and challenging, the good news for you is we have a partner employer looking for you. So we have a partner employer looking for NOC 3413. So if you are eligible, you already have the language test, the education, the work experience, the proof of funds, and let's call it hashtag immigration ready. I want you to scan this code or click the link on the description below and sign up to our online form and our team will going to assess all the documents that you submitted to us and once we able to to show and prove that you are immigration ready we will forward this to our partner employer and you can be invited to be interviewed with our partner employer the key here is you need to have all the basic requirements, which is the language test, the proof of funds. And of course, you have the age, 21 to 55 years old, the one-year experience, the education of at least high school diploma. Then if you have all these basic requirements, I want you to scan this code or click the link on the description below. Sign up with our portal. Our team will go into evil with all the documents that you submitted to us. And then once we prove that you are immigration ready, we're going to forward it with our partner employer. So if you're ready, submit now, click the link or scan this code and make sure to submit your complete documents. Again, this is Cap Joey of When in Halifax and Cap Unity Canada and hope to see you, see you here in Canada. Thank you, Cops. And don't forget to like, Share and subscribe.